Hello and welcome to another video on how to create a game like Clash of Clans. So in the previous videos we worked on camera zoom. So let's open our camera controller. So before we continue there is a few problems we need to fix. The first one is an update function. Let's go to update and here when we are lapping the camera auto graphic size we need to use the zoom smooth instead of move smooth and the second problem is in our move started and by mistake I wrote the codes for zooming in our move started which we need to cut this and paste it in our zoom started actually and let's just paste it here in the zoom started and now everything should be working fine so if you remember in the update function we created this method called adjust bounce just before we change the position and the autographic size of our camera we need to make sure the camera does not exceed the limits that we have defined for it so to do that here in the adjust bounds the first thing we do we're gonna check the zoom minimum and maximum value So if our zoom is less than minimum zoom, we're just gonna limit the zoom to the minimum zoom. And the same thing, if the zoom is greater than maximum zoom, we're gonna set the zoom value to the maximum zoom. This way, the zoom will just stay between minimum zoom and maximum zoom. Now before we go any further, we need to create a function to get the plane orthographic size. So let's just add the space here. So let me open the paint for a second. So if we are looking at the camera from the sides, this is how the camera is looking at the ground. And this is our plane. So this is the camera looking at the ground and this is the ground which our game elements will be placed on. So if we draw a line from this position here, the length of this line and this line exactly the same thing so we have this angle this is our camera angle and we also have the length of this line so this is gonna be our H this is our orthographic camera multiplied by 2 because this is the camera orthographic size and if we multiply that by 2 it's gonna give us the H and we need the X value which is this line so we know that sinus alpha equals to h divided by x in result x equals to h divided by sinus a so to calculate x first we're gonna calculate h so let's say h is going to be our zoom multiplied by 2 that is the camera orthographic size multiplied by 2 now to calculate the x value And we're gonna multiply this by math f dot degree to radian and as you can see here this is the x so in order to get half of the x we need to divide it by 2 because the orthographic size of our plane is going to be half of our x so we're gonna divide that by 2 as well so now let's go and get the orthographic size of our plane here in the adjust bounds And we know that if we multiply that autographic size by camera aspect ratio, it's just gonna give us the half of the wide. So this H and W is going to be, let's say we are looking at the plane from above. This is going to be our H and this is going to be our W. 
So basically, if we move from the center of our plane, which is the position of our camera root, and if we move in the right, left, up and down directions, we can get the bounds which are visible to the camera. So let's go here and start checking the values. So let's check the limits of our zoom first. And this is going to limit our zoom on vertical axis and let's do the horizontal as well. Let me just copy this. And instead of H, I'm just going to say W and up and down are going to be right and left. And at the end, because it's the widest screen, we're going to say divided by camera dot aspect ratio. Now, let's get these four points of the plane's corner. To do that, we can simply just say top right is going to be root dot position plus root dot right dot normalized and we're gonna multiply this by w and we're gonna do root dot forward dot normalized i'm gonna multiply it by h and before we do all of this let's actually calculate h and w one more time Now let's create top left. I'm going to just copy this and say top left. And instead of moving into the right direction, we're going to just move on the left direction. And I'm going to change this to minus root dot right. So let's copy this too and do the same thing for down right and down left for these two we're gonna move in the backward direction which is gonna change these two to minus forward so let's say if top right dot x is greater than center dot x and we're gonna say plus our right position is gonna be vector three dot left multiplied by top right dot x minus center dot x plus right and we're gonna get the absolute value by using mathf dot absolute and this should do it so let me copy this and we're gonna do the same thing for our left so we're gonna say top left dot x is less than center x minus left and here instead of left we're gonna move in the right direction and here let me remove that center x minus left is going to be minus tl dot x so let me copy this two and use them for our down limit and up limit as well so instead of x i'm just gonna use z and instead of right is going to be up and this is going to be vector three dot backwards and also let's change these values to z and up and I'm going to change this to down left or down right, doesn't matter. And change these values to Z, Z, and this is going to be down. And this is going to be forward and Z, down, and this is going to be down left dot Z. So this should limit our camera movement. Let's actually check this out to see if everything works as they should. Now I'll try to move around. I can move to right and left. Uh, let me zoom in a little bit. 
yes as you can see I can only move to a certain point in all directions I can't move any further than that so I'm kind of stuck in a box also uh, my zoom out and my zoom in is limited as well so I can't zoom out more than this and the same thing for my zoom in I can't zoom in more than that so let me close this I'll just go to my package manager I just found a low poly package which contains a bunch of simple trees and rocks and stuff like that of course there is a bunch of free assets let me open my browser as you can see it has a bunch of trees and let me go here I'm more interested in these assets a bunch of trees and a bunch of rocks it is free of course there are a lot of similar assets like this and it's only four megabytes which is very good for performance I'm just gonna import that so it is going to scenes low poly survival let me import it now let's create a folder and name it packages I'll just find the folder here it is and move it into my packages folder let's go to the prefabs and here is a bunch of prefabs we could use so I'll open this map game object I have let me just delete the plane and instead I'm just going to create a quad and in the lighting let's just turn this off it will receive shadows of course and we don't need mesh colliders we will not be using any colliders in our game because we don't need any rigid bodies or gravity or anything so let me remove that and let's rotate this 90 degrees and that's it I'll also gonna scale it to 100 and 100 of course so that's more than the space we need I'm just going to create a folder called materials and let's just create an empty material and let's call it base and let's choose just a simple greenish color I'll just drag it on my quad and here it is I have some basic ground let me play the game okay here as you can see I have a green of course uh, because I don't have anything on my ground moving is not exactly visible so let's play some assets I'm just gonna duplicate this quad and I will create another material and let's just say ground grid and let's change the color for now to something else this is not a permanent solution we definitely need to make better terrain and ground but for now just let's do it like this and let's bring the y-axis to 0 0.01 just to be above the other plane and I'm just gonna reduce this to 2020 and let's rotate it by 45 degrees and let's play now as you can see we have something like this if you remember let's go back to the code here in the initialize we set the values of our limits let me find it here it is we set the values for right and other things to 10 in this case which center is vector 3 0 the camera can only show 10 units on all four directions of the center and let's go back here so let's close this and put some trees and stuff on this map I'll go to the packages and prefabs let's go to the plants and here are a bunch of trees that we can place in the scene let me go here of course the scale is a little bit big here it is and we can just create a jungle or whatever and let's play it so here it is so this is just the basics I just wanted to show you how you can design your scene I'm done for this video and feel free to ask me any questions please like and subscribe and thank you for watching